as part of the module 3 that we are discussing uh, regarding ETL with uh, Spark SQL. So let us understand uh, writing to the Delta table as a concept uh, in this video. That means uh, in the previous videos we have understood a lot many things about uh, Delta tables and uh, I mean how do we create them also we have understood how, what are the different ways to create the Delta tables and how exactly it uh, I mean we can use a different concept of external table like a managed tables and a uh, lot many details we have seen. So after creating a table, definitely we want to do some write operations. Uh, so we have already done the read operation. Like if you do a select statement, you can read the data, right? But uh, how come about uh, writing the data or updating the data or upsetting the data, right? So all these uh, details we will discuss in this video, how, we'll, uh, how we will deal with uh, writing to the Delta tables. So if you are uh, new to this channel and haven't yet subscribed to the channel, to, uh, to this channel, so we would recommend you to please subscribe and also please press bell button for instant notification. So let's get uh, started. And uh, before actually jumping to the Delta tables uh, concepts, right? Like, uh, like writing to the Delta tables, right? So what are the different ways that we can write to the to write to the Delta tables? So there are different ways as you can see, right? So like uh, there is a insert overwrite that you can do. Okay. And uh, insert overwrite is nothing but you are overwriting the existing data. Okay. And there is something called as insert into also that you can do, right? Insert into is nothing but you are not overwriting the data, but you are appending to the already existing uh, table data, right? So you are here, you are not touching the existing data, it's just a append. And there is something called as merge into. So merge into is nothing but you can do. I mean, when you are using a merge into operation, you can do a append also. You can do a update also, and even you can do a delete. So that uh, I mean, you can define uh, on the case to case basis on the some certain conditions so that we can uh, see in the demo part. Okay. And copy into is just uh, we will use uh, when we are doing a uh, I mean injection when uh, doing incrementally, right? So all this concept we will see the in this demo in detail okay so without any delay let's get started with the demo so as part of the demo so like uh, let us uh, see the fruits table right i mean we, like uh, in the previous demo we have already created a fruits table so just uh, let us do the show table and it show all the tables that we have created and uh, let me do a select uh, star from fruits table and see what is there in the fruits table so as you can see, uh, you have the fruits here and uh, you can see like the fruits table, uh, there are like a different uh, columns also in the fruits table, right? And the intention uh, here is uh, we want to kind of uh, read, I mean the right uh, operations. So we want to see some rights, right? So before actually, uh, I mean, there is an option where we can completely rewrite the entire table. So it's not uh, just a writing, it is entirely, uh, entirely rewriting. That means it's a complete overwrite. So this is the first option that we can try out. Suppose you have a fruits table here. And uh, so let me write it to the fruits V6. And uh, if I query the fruit V6 here, Okay, it will have the same records as the main uh, fruits table, right? But uh, I don't want the size column in the V6, right? So what I can do is uh, I can just uh, do select uh, only these two, these two column, right? Color and uh, fruit. Okay, so when I execute this, it will actually replace the entire table with the new data. And also, not only the data, it also remove the first column. Okay. So as you can come and see here, uh, it is completely overwriting the data first thing. And also it is also kind of a uh, removing this column. Okay. And what I can do is like, I can just write uh, where uh, color equals to red. So now you can see even the records uh, will be uh, rewritten completely overwritten in this table and this overwrite uh, we are doing when we are creating the table itself like since we are using create or replace table so it is kind of a replacing the entire table uh, with the new records and if you see wherever only the red record red fruits are put into v6 table so that's how uh, 
we write into a table and the option here is complete overwrite so how do we do a complete overwrite of a table is using create or replace table create or replace table and then uh, you can give the like it is as it is right so cts a kind of format that we have discussed in previous videos so it's just just like that okay and next uh, let us discuss about the insert overwrite suppose uh, so this is at a table level that we are doing right so but uh, at a row level what we can do right so we can insert a particular uh, records here insert overwrite into fruits uh, v6 and select start from you can select from fruits table so let us try this and uh, see whether this will work so we are this will not work because there is a schema mismatch as you saw this fruit v6 schema is just it is expecting two columns okay but uh, fruits uh, table which is a parent table is uh, trying to uh, push three columns into this v6 table so that's why it's not working so for that it is simple we need to provide whatever the columns that uh, v6 is expecting right so if you execute this and try this it will just overwrite the tables here okay as you can see uh, v6 was having only two records right now uh, since we have overwritten the table uh, insert we did an insert overwrite of the table right so let us see what happens as you can see all the uh, i mean it has overwritten everything and brought everything which is which was there in the fruits table so we are just doing an insert overwrite so let us let us think about this in a real time scenario right when when we will do an insert overwrite when we want to do a flush and fill scenario that means uh, if you are uh, if you think about a etl or elt kind of scenario where you are bringing the data from the source uh, if uh, you want to flush and fill so when you will do a flush and fill if it is if the if you are doing a ink uh, if you are uh, doing the full load kind of a table right so every day you are getting a fresh snapshot of a data so that in that case uh, it is called a full load and uh, in that case you will do a overwrite a kind of scenario okay But uh, you might think now is like how do we like uh, append the records or rows, right? So it is also very simple, like a similar syntax uh, where you will do insert uh, into. So syntax you can just follow here the, the syntax, right? It is slightly changed. Like here it is insert or right, and uh, you are not giving into here. Here it is insert into, and you give the fruits. Uh, I mean, what is the table name is, and then. Do a select star from fruits. I mean, just I can give the same uh, thing here, right? And uh, once this execute, it is actually not replacing any records. You are appending a record. So how how do we see whether it is appended? So you can see previously it was four records, right? Now if I execute this, the V6 table. Now you can see eight records. That means uh, the append has happened to the same table we are not overwritten it is append anyway these are like duplicates value so that is not uh, i mean that is supposed to happen anyway but uh, our intention is to show we are not overwriting the records here okay so next option of writing uh, records is uh, using a merge operation so this is an interesting uh, operation uh, that uh, databricks uh, delta table has uh, so let us understand it uh, very clearly right and uh, so very in detail and uh, it is a simple concept but uh, so we need to understand it once and especially the syntax of merge right we need to understand that and the concept as well so as you can see let us take a student's uh, table here so which is having a id and a name and marks okay and uh, with the new set of marks released right so what we want to do is uh, wherever uh, the id is matching right so we want to update the marks of that particular uh, person or a student so like uh, id of id 1 is matching right so in that case uh, we want 2 to be updated with 5.5 and if there is no kind of a match in that case we want to enter that as a new record like 9 is not there i mean if you see id 9 is not there in the student table we want to kind of uh, insert that 
so there are two operations that we have we want to do when matched so we want we want to do a update okay when not not match we want to do a insert so this operation operation the series of operation uh, we can be uh, can be done in using the uh, one statement itself it's a merge statement so how do we do that uh, it is a simple example uh, let us take right click uh, so this is a merge statement so if you can see merge into this is a table name that you want to merge the data into this is like a parent table right and using which data is using this uh, uh, temporary table or the sub table or child table what we can call right and we have aliased it aliased with them with these tables also and basically the first criteria to do a merge operation is uh, there should be some common value between these two tables that means some id values right which actually does the mapping between or the joining between the, these two tables so once that joining happens uh, based on the key columns so then uh, the next step is so we have we can give when matched what should happen and when when not matched so what should happen basically i can just uh, rearrange like this uh, this is the first statement when id is matching we can update uh, the value here right so with a b dot value that means uh, second tape second uh, table value we can uh, use and update the first table here okay abhi uh, abhi is having a id right so abhi is already existing so the expectation is uh, so the id uh, the value of abhi should be up updated value of abhi should be updated from 2 to 5.5 and john is not there in the existing table and uh, the expectation is so he will be the there will be new uh, record insertion so we are just doing a insert start start okay so here uh, you can also do like uh, when when match that uh, you can also do a update start right so when you do update start what will happen is all the records will be updated like uh, so like uh, even even if the, there is a name change right instead of abi it become like uh, some other name right xyz so even that will get updated the entire row will get updated when the id is matching so here we are not trying the trying to kind of uh, update entire row so our intention is to update just the marks so looks like there is some error yeah i think there is some syntax issue here uh, what we have to give is when matched then so update when not matched then insert star yeah so we have missed uh, this then uh, keyword that's the reason we are getting error okay so now it is uh, the merge statement is executed and, and it might take some time because uh, if it is a huge table right definitely it will take some good amount of time and now let us come back and see whether abhi's uh, marks has been updated uh, from 2 to 5.5 and rest should remain the same only there should be one more new record entry for john for id 9 let us see that as you can see abhi's uh, record has been updated to 5.5 now so as per the as per the value given here and rest others values remain the same and there is a new record which is inserted for john that is ninth record right ninth id 9 as it has been inserted so now uh, it is not just about uh, merging the, the data right uh, just updating the data so you can also use this merge statement to kind of a dedupe i mean use the dedupe right so what you can do is uh, if you just remove this uh, uh, this statement right or just comment out this statement uh, so now what this statement what it does is so if you execute this statement uh, this statement is actually deduping the values that means uh, it also uh, whenever it is uh, inserting a records right it will al also check if there is any duplicates that means if you see here so actually student v1 has some uh, records to get updated right there are two records one is uh, like insertion and uh, there is there are two records to insert right so when not matched then only insert see what we are doing here is when not matched so then insert when matched do, don't do anything right so when when there is a duplication value uh, so it, it will not do anything if you see here uh, we are commented out this line uh, so we are just using when not matched that means it will insert records only if there is no match that means only if the if the data is already available in the table so only in that case it will insert otherwise it will not insert any record so in that way you are uh, inserting a record but it is only i mean 
uh, only merge for duplication that means uh, uh, we are actually kind of uh, ensuring that there is no duplications getting inserted when we are doing a merge operation here so you can you can think of uh, multiple other scenarios and you can put in the comment box uh, i'm happy to discuss uh, on on multiple scenarios here and the final option is uh, copy into so we will discuss about copy into now which is uh, one more uh, option to write into a delta tables uh, right so to explain about the copy into right let us uh, create a one dummy table i mean uh, without any records right and now let us try to insert the records here like before inserting the records let us see what is there in this mount point that we have created which is in the block storage right so how do we do that is uh, since we want to execute python command we are just given a magic command python here then uh, dbutils.fs.ls so let's try to kind of see as you can see there are uh, four uh, files here and this is a json file and if you can uh, locate this we're talking about uh, uh, the one of the folder which is in the ADLS uh, location okay and uh, let us try to delete one file and see whether uh, we're talking it correctly yeah so we are in the in this uh, these are the four files that uh, we are able to see here right? and now uh, since uh, we have created one uh, created a new table uh, which uh, with empty records there are no records into this table right and let us uh, read this file okay i mean the, this location uh, all the json files and put into this uh, table let's try to execute this and see what happens so as you can see there are four fruits here we are expecting four fruits uh, to be inserted as you can see it has inserted four fruits and let us also kind of query this end check this select star from the table name okay so as you can see, it will be displaying the four records, uh, four uh, fruits that we have, uh, they have, it has read from this particular folder. Now, uh, the main important thing we have to understand is this is the concept of load incrementally. So it will always read only once. So if the record is inserted, uh, again, it will not reinsert. How do we validate that is we will execute the same command, exact same command one more time and see what happens. So as you can see number of rows affected inserted or corrupted are zero so inserted is also zero and you see we are not expecting eight records here we are expecting four records only because only if there is a new records in the source it will insert so that is why we are calling it as a incremental load incremental so to test that let us kind of upload a new fruit file so now we have uploaded a new fruit file called papaya.json so now let us try to execute this and see what happens the same command right so as you can see it has inserted one record affected one record so instead of uh, reading all the five files okay it has read only one file because those four files are already read and inserted so that is where uh, it is i mean it is very i mean i would say the very good feature or the advanced feature uh, when when you are dealing with a large amount of data especially the data is landing uh, on an everyday basis right so what you can do is you can you can create this statement to kind of uh, execute on a daily basis so what it does is it will read the read the location and keep on updating this uh, particular table and uh, to do this obviously the schema the columns uh, everything should be same uh, of the files which are located in this location and also you need to have a delta table especially the delta table and uh, in that delta table also the schema should match with the uh, files which is there in this location so here we are using json file format you can use parquet you can use a csv any kind of all format so just for the demo purpose we have used json file. okay but uh, this is important right when you are you can execute it multiple times but it will only pick the files which are new rec new files that is it will just do an incremental copy or incremental load so we have seen a different kind of uh, write operation in this uh, video hope it was useful thanks for watching